Hey, what's going on? Matthew Tamina with another Joomla video tutorial. In this lesson, I want to review and demo for you DJ Classifies. If you're thinking about creating a marketplace where people come in, they create an account, they can list their, you know, their products for sale, uh, just like a Facebook marketplace, this is the perfect extension to do so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all that it has to offer. I've used this for clients and it's incredible. That's a great way for you to provide a platform where people come in, create an account. You don't have to do much management because once you get everything set up right, the system will automatically take care of the rest for you. So it's another great way for you to make passive income. Even if you're not a coder, if you want to say focus on a uh, specific industry or specific niche to build a platform where people come in, list items, and you just watch you know, the money come in, you can definitely do that. They can post for free or they can do paid. So let's take a look right now at some of the features that it has. And then we're going to take a look at the demo. Uh, and then we're going to take a look at the pre-designed templates. They also give you the option for you to buy ready-made classifiers that you can be able to just plug in and play. So let's take a look at this right now. So this is some of the features that it has to offer. Uh, advanced search and filtering. Now this is really great because you can serve items based on location, based on zip codes, based on postal codes, on categories. So if you don't want certain people to get access to certain categories based on their location or certain items, you can do that. You can restrict items so it only shows up if they're within a certain zip code, if they're within a certain region and you have the locations and you have your regions. You can integrate this too with other extensions that they have and we're going to take a look at that in just a minute and you have the multi-functional module. The advertisers can be able to create their own account, they can manage the adverts, they can pay. You can automate this entire process. And what that means is that you don't have to sit there or wait there and manually do everything, right? So I set up for a client before and everything has been automated. They can choose to focus on a specific industry, you know, or they can just make it like a general, like a Craigslist where anybody can just come in. But I've often find that that if you have a specific niche that you want to target, when you create a cat, when you create a, a, a site for that specific niche, your conversion rates a lot better and you make more money because people are coming there for that specific reason. So they can, you can add ads, you can sell ads on there. Uh, you can charge whatever you want. You can charge a one time fee. You can charge a weekly fee, a monthly fee or yearly fee. And then it comes to a statistics. So you can be able to check analytics to see how things are going, what's working, where it's not. And then we'll take a look at the back end so you can see. Now, another great thing too is that this here have different payment plugin that they, you know, they take over 26, right? So you have here the PayPal, you have the Stripe, you have to, to check out and so many other ones. And they can also set up one. If you don't see yours here, they can create one for you. But most of the times you're going to be able to use at least, you know, one of these here to be able to use for uh, to process your payments. And it has flexibility in terms of the layout. You can design, move things around and organize your layout exactly how you want them to be. And then you have some of the SEO high performance is great for developers. So if you have a team already, you can do that. But if you don't have any team, that's OK. Another cool thing that they have is they have apps like App Store where you can add certain apps in your store. So you have a subscription. If you want to sell subscription where in order for people to post, they have to get a subscription first. You can do that. Or if you want to restrict a uh, subscription to specific categories, you can do that as well. You can have search alerts. So when people are searching for something, they get an alert. You, have, you can have an Ajax, multi-categories. You can bad words, you know, have coupons. You can create invoices. And they have a lot of different apps. And you can also integrate this with other third-party um, extensions that Joomla offers, uh, which is something, too, that's good to keep in mind because as you're building your site, you're going to want to integrate different things like, you know, the DJ media tools. Maybe you want to integrate like a social media platform with it, uh, J comment and so on and so forth. Uh, DJ reviews. So that's something else, too. And you can add videos. So when people are selling items in your store, they can add videos to their, you know, their items. So people see what that looks like, not just photos. And you can create video ads as well. Now, before we go over here and take a look at some of the designs in terms of that's ready made, I just wanted to show you uh, something first. But you see how they have 
uh, multilingual. In other words, you can translate this into your native tongue, which is really great. So now let's go back up here and I want to show you the demo for each one that they have. So once you once you purchase this, you're going to get one of these here. So this is what this looks like right off the box. You have something that's very simple, something that's very clean and it's ready to go. Now you have to do some tweaking in terms of making changes and adjustments. Uh, and once you do that, then uh, pretty much everything was set to go to start allowing people to post things. So that's the first layout that you have options from this another layout. So I'm going to click on each item here so you kind of see what that looks like. There's a location targeting right now. So I'm going to click allow. So this is what it looks like. People can be able to contact the advertisers. They can report an abuse. They can get the contact for the phone number for the advertiser here. They can search. Let's take a look now at this other option. This another layout. So people can be able to come in. And you can put ads here from AdSense. So if you wanted to monetize this, this is a really great way for you to do so. Uh, the layout options are incredible. It's unlimited. You can design so many cool things with it. And you can check ahead with the pricing. You can buy points. So how that works is you can let people sign up and buy points. You can charge a certain amount per points. You know, you can have a bulk system. You can have a subscription. They can buy a single ad. And we're going to take a look at that in just a moment. And they get to create their own profile. So if you have multiple companies, the companies can create their own profile on your website. And then once again, they can create an account. They can check out the different listings. And you have absolute control. Like you see this one that's highlighted. All those that are highlighted, they've paid extra to get their listings highlighted so you can charge extra if, if someone wants to be able to get their listings highlighted or you can make everything for free you can have their uh new so now what we're going to do is let's take a look at some of the pre-made templates one of the things that i love about joomla and content management system as a whole is that you get pre-made templates so if you don't want to build anything you don't have the time you don't want to you can just buy ready-made templates edit the templates and you're good to go. So here are just some of the templates that you can buy. This one here is the best seller. This one has a sale. So let's take a look first the demo for this one. We're going to take a look at that one. And any one of these based on an industry or if you just like how they look, you can get any one of them as well. So I'm just kind of going through here. So let's say you have real estate. Let's take a look at that one. We're just going to take a look at a few. And then we're going to take a look at the back end and see how everything works there. So I'm just choosing two different industries. And then let's take a look too at this one. So we have different options here. So this is the first one here. From this here, you have two options you can choose from. You have version one and then you have version two. So let's check out version one first. So this has like that Pinterest, you know, type of flow where all the the, uh, the listings are being submitted you can click on there and you get to contact the advertisers directly and this has a messaging system where you can message each other like messenger on the site you can add the video they can post an ad and when they go to post an ad you can choose point packages you can sell points you can choose the category you can restrict categories so that way only certain people have access to it. So if you want to create where people have to purchase points, they would have to purchase points first before they can post on certain categories or certain sections of the website. And you can put whatever amount you want there. So that's the layout for that one. So let's go back here and let's take a look now. X this up. This one here is another layout, another option that you have. Again, it's based on personal preference. You may like the other layout, but again, some people may like this one, but they do pretty much the same thing. So let's check this other layout. This is for real estate. Again, very nice. If you have a site where people want to rent homes, you can create a, a classifiers where people post their homes here. They can get contacted and, you know, all the information for the homes and all the details on there, you know, like a Zillow type of website. And you kind of scroll through here, different categories. You can have buy now, buy now plus bids. And this is a really great way for you to make passive income. You don't have to spend time managing it. You know, once you get everything set up, you build it, you can even provide support 
they can the site can just manage itself and you can make money just from people just posting on the site and then of course you have this option here this like a little um older option or another way things look someone comes in look at it and again it all does the exact same thing so now what we want to do is we want to take a look at the back end so you can see how the back end looks when you log into the back end this is what you're going to get it shows you all the categories the items the extra fills the location duration you can add multiple categories you can add multiple fill you can add different types you can choose your payment the user points now I want to talk about the user points here this is another great way for you to get people to do something so let's click on new point system have always been effective you can award people certain points right they can pay for points if they want to let's say you give them 20 points and they can advertise in a certain part of the website you can charge them a fee for the point so let's go back to the control panel and the categories you can create as many categories as you need to there is no limit you can create as many categories and subcategories so there's no limit as to what you can do you have the custom fills you have uh, access restrictions so if you want to have certain categories restricted right you can restrict it to certain groups of people so let's say that you have group a and you don't want group a to be able to post anything under this category for cars you want them to see it but they can't post well you can restrict access for them not to be able to post anything they can add an ads in that particular category and then now let's go over here to the items you can check out all the items that you currently have uh, if there's an item there that you don't want you could always click on it and you can just click to uh, you can disable it you can even delete it so you can go through category you can reassign it sometimes if a person put the, um, the item in the wrong category you know you can go there and you can make a change for it and you can check out the promotions the options that they have seven day all the images so if someone is posting something there that you don't approve of it you can just delete it you know you can delete it and it's easy for you to do so if you want to delete something you click here and you just click on delete and it's going to delete that particular item and then you can have extra fields to collect extra information from that person you have locations so if you want to create a site where it's location based you don't want it to be the entire world you want it to be let's just say in in the u.s in africa somewhere in an african country or anywhere you can make this site location based so if someone else from other country come in they won't be able to use it much because they won't be able to get what they're looking for you can restrict it to just specific countries and specific regions and of course you have the category you can add the duration here how long each item is so this is where you can charge your price in uh, if you want it to be free for price points the renewal price you want it to be free renewal price points and you can choose the different categories you want for here and then if you want them to to you know charge a fee for extra images you can do that as well you can put the price in here the points so some uh, some adverts or some listings can have images and other uh, listings won't have images based on how you have it so you have to for seven days you can give it free 14 days you set the price 21 days 30 days and if there's more that you want to add you just have to click new and you can decide how much longer that you want to add that particular listing for and then you have your points package in here this is where you decide the points and then you have your payment uh, you see all the subscriptions that you have you can choose your integration in terms of what uh, merchant account that you want to use then you have uh, the option here and with the option you get to control the store how everything works you get to choose allow users to copy adverts so this is where you kind of fine-tune your store in terms of the features that you want so once you fine-tune it here uh, then it's going to show up on the the front and now the global this is going to affect the entire store that's what global may, means and then you can choose different themes here or you can upload you know a theme if you already purchased one of the uh, the themes here then it's going to show up on the back end um, let's go back your hair and then you have the images you can set the parameters for those security uh, the SEO you can set the parameters for that as well so it gives you everything that you need to be able to manage 
If you would like to learn how to use Joomla with the one-on-one -on -one live training, make sure you go to my website, matthewtainment.com. This is where I get to do one-on-one -on -one training with you or your team, whether your team consists of just you and someone else or a group of people. Uh, you get to skip the learning curves and pretty much uh, get to the bottom of things so you can build your sites a lot faster. Uh, this is night. I have 90 minute sessions and we can set up sessions for, you know, a week, hourly, weekly, monthly. Um, but the goal of it is that at the end of it, you're going to get the training you need to build high quality professional websites with Joomla.